supercapacitor or ultracapacitor measurements, that is, measuring C using LabVIEW and Excel. Here are the conclusions in this video. VC is capacitor voltage, DVDT is rate of change, volts per second, IC is capacitor current and amps, C is capacitance and farads, IC is C multiplied by DVDT or capacitor current is capacitance times the rate of voltage change. IC, DVDT, and C are all similar for charging and discharging through a resistor. Measured value of C is smaller than the rated value of C for large IC. Measured value of C is larger than the rated value of C for small IC. IC, VC, and DVDT are not exponential. We will define capacitance from the current voltage relationship for a capacitor. This formula shows that the current is equal to the capacitance multiplied by the rate of change of voltage. Solving this formula for capacitance, the capacitance is equal to the instantaneous current through the capacitor divided by the rate of change of voltage across the capacitor. LabVIEW is measured is used to measure the voltage across the capacitor during a discharge through a known resistor. The battery charges the capacitor to 5 volts initially, then the switch opens. The capacitor voltage decreases to zero, and LabVIEW measures that voltage indicated by channel A during the discharge. Two experiments will be performed at 5 volts. We have a 10 microfarad film capacitor, that's not a supercapacitor, and a resistor of 100,000 ohms. The second is a 1 farad supercapacitor, and the resistance is 100 ohms. Here are the film capacitor results first. This is an Excel spreadsheet showing the measured value of C. The vertical axis is microfarads. The horizontal axis is counts, in this case 2 milliseconds per count. The final plot time is 2 seconds. Each dot represents the average of 20 LabVIEW measurements. This procedure accurately measures the known value of the 10 microfarads for the first part of the plot. The final part shows relatively large error in measuring capacitance. Analog to digital quantization may be one cause of the large error, which will be considered more later. Here is the measured capacitance for the 1 farad supercapacitor. Measurement accuracy is high for most of the capacitor discharge. The capacitance is nonlinear. Discharge duration is 300 seconds. C is less than 1 farad for measured initially, and C is greater than 1 farad measured during most of the discharge. Now, more explanation will be given, mostly of the lab view details. This is a portion of the previous Excel plot, the red dots, and the LabVIEW measured value of C is the blue trace. The large measured errors will be addressed more in subsequent LabVIEW plots. Several LabVIEW plots will now be shown. This is the capacitor voltage. It is not exponential. This is the capacitor current, which is the capacitor voltage divided by the resistor value. This is the digital sample time, mostly 0.3 seconds per measured value, and occasionally 0.301 seconds, and a few greater than 0.301 seconds per measured value. 
Here is the change in voltage for each pair of voltages divided by the sample time. Measurement deviations increase as the changing in capacitor voltage becomes smaller. This is LabVIEW's calculation of capacitance for each sample. The calculation is made by evaluating the formula. Factors affecting this huge measurement deviation include A to D quantization, DVDT going to zero, and the current going to zero. Now more LabVIEW details. Here's the LabVIEW front panel controls. Plotting begins when VC is less than 4.8 volts. The resistor is measured at 98.5 ohms. Desired program loop time in milliseconds in order to get about 1,000 points per plot is 300 milliseconds. A to D sample rate is about 1 millisecond. Here are the LabVIEW front panel indicators. They contain program instantaneous output values, actual program loop time, capacitor current, change in capacitor voltage each program loop, calculated capacitance, rate of change of voltage, average of 303 A to D values, and one element in the array of 303 elements. Here's the LabVIEW block diagram. It is the program. Here's a for loop. It reads the 12-bit A to D 303 times each program loop. All 303 capacitor voltage values are put into an array. The average of those 303 values becomes the single measurement of VC. Here are the elementary calculations that are performed. Each calculated value goes to the appropriate plot. Selected values are placed into an array written to a text file on program termination. An approximate loop time of 300 milliseconds is implemented here. Actual loop time is measured. Measuring C during capacitor discharge, this procedure is credible based on the traditional capacitor measurements. Supercapacitor measurements are reasonable because they're close to the one farad stated value. Supercapacitor values may be primarily dependent on current. This procedure produces huge measurement errors when DVDT and IC are too small. The capacitor discharge was used in all the previous results. Capacitor charging produces similar results. The next plots show the same one farad capacitor while charging. IC, DVDT, and C are all similar for charging and discharging through a resistor. Measured value of C is smaller than the rated value of C for a large IC. Measured value of C is larger than the rated value of C for small IC. IC, VC, and DVDT are not exponential.